challenge on, on after lighting like they should. So let's get into, you know, why, why should we add outdoor lighting? Let's get more specific and discuss other benefits achieved, achieved and reasons to add outdoor lighting. Um, like you were saying, with the summer comes fun and sun time, and we are getting, and we are spending more time outside. It's getting hotter, the summer appears to be getting longer. And with the warm weather here, it's time to beautify your home for parties, pool parties, barbecues, open houses, outdoor celebrations of important events, weddings, bridal showers, birthday parties, birthday parties, uh, I don't think I've missed anything. Um, also, living outdoor spaces are becoming uh, a lot more popular. Outdoor kitchens, outdoor living rooms, outdoor fireplaces, outdoor fireplaces, water features. Um, and lastly, let's not neglect that outdoor lighting is incredibly important for the safety and security of your home, uh, which will add uh, value to your home because of curb appeal. Um, like I was saying, the ambiance is a huge benefit in outdoor lighting. Um, the proper outdoor lighting enhances the beauty of your home. The trick is to not overdo it when it's not necessary, but to use it, lo to use it logically to transform the space into something beautiful. Here are just uh, a, a couple of quick tips that I picked up. Um, the first is called Firefly Envy, as you can see uh, based on the, the, that picture with the three lanterns grouped together. Uh, small outdoor lighting fixtures are really striking when grouped. Um, as you can see, these three lanterns uh, grouped together create a stunning effect. And like I was saying, uh, kill the floodlights. Um, they're good in certain scenarios, but make sure your backyard is well lit but not so glaring. Floodlights are good for security and safety purposes, but not always for decorative purposes. So, I mean, I, I do think uh, a lot of our, our listeners do have floodlights on their house. Um, right. And, and when, when, I'm, when I'm selling floodlights, you should have them, um, like you said, for security. Possibly have right. them on a, on a timer. Motion sensor. Correct. Or a motion sensor. But they should not be on the main switch with your decorative right. lights. That's, right. Yeah. Okay. Great. Terrific. Great. Um, so let's talk a little bit about safety. You know, I, I, I don't care where you live, even the most well-protected, affluent neighborhoods, there are safety concerns such as vandalism, theft, and trespassing. Um, and exterior lighting provides the necessary safety and security. And uh, for certain outdoor lighting products such as up lights and post lights can really help accomplish these goals. Uh, I think that really goes without saying, and, and that's a given. Um, let's get into some of the uh, outdoor lighting challenges because outdoor lighting is so important. You want a product that addresses the outdoor lighting challenges. Um, there's been a significant evolution of outdoor lighting. Initially, most outdoor lighting was made of brass, which resulted in extreme rusting and tarnishing. Um, some companies to date have tried to address this problem by addressing a special by adding a special sealant to the brass. However, this results in, ex in an extremely cost prohibitive product. Um, then die cast aluminum and mixed resin products were uh, introduced and they became popular. However, still have issues with tarnishing due to UV rays and salt. Tarnishing, rusting, corrosion still occur. Uh, die cast aluminum and mixed resin products are often weaker in core strength. Due to the process in which they are created, which, which I will uh, get into in a minute. Um, I think this is a great slide. Um, this is this is my neighborhood in, in Park Slope, Brooklyn. And just to further illustrate, um, in my neighborhood, I, I live on a block, and there's a preservation society, and they spend a ton of money restoring and keeping the neighborhood pristine. Everything from the outside facade of the buildings to the so sidewalk to the trees. Um, but as you can see from these tarnished fixtures that, is tur that have turned from black to white, yes, ladies and gentlemen, those were originally black, <laughs> uh, they apparently feel the outdoor lighting is, is a lost cause. And personally, I think it depreciates and under undermines the look of the neighborhood, the neighborhood in many ways. Um, it's an eyesore. So, so what can we do? Ah, behold, 
we have the uh, the Vivex solution. So I'm going to get in, into that in, into detail. Um, so I'll take you uh, briefly through the process, um, which is actually it's a very sophisticated 10-step process, but I will take you through the main steps. Um, Vivex, it's unique synthetic composition made up of ground marble powder, which is a very, very hard rock for strength, um, and a latex composite for dura durability, and then bond together with an adhesive called ATP. For those of you who don't know what ATP is, it's a biodegradable, very safe for the environment. Um, it's used in outdoor applications, and it has been tested to withstand temperatures of negative 20, 20 degrees and can exceed 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, this material is, is inje then injected under pressure into quality steel molds, and this makes for a very hard and dense product. Because of the strength of the material, it frees designers' creativity, creativity, enabling them to implement imaginative, imaginative designs. Um, next, a special three-step uh, paint finishing process with superior adhesion occurs. Uh, this includes an application of a base coat, uh, a secondary hand-painted detail, which ensures uniqueness and quality, and then lastly, a special protective sealant. Um, and throughout this whole production process, Max Lighting oversees it for, for quality assurance. Um, I'm going to compare Vivex, the, the material in Vivex, with some other light uh, outdoor lighting materials. And, and there's a very important difference I want to emphasize between Vivex molding process and the molding process of, of its competitors. And that is Vivex is injected into heavy steel molds rather than poured into cheap plaster molds. Um, and the products originating from cheap plaster molds are extremely porous and weak as opposed to the extremely thick and hard steel molded injected Vivex products. Every nook and cranny of that steel mold is filled. And uh, like I was saying earlier, the strength of the material enables for very, very intricate design work. Um, there's other comparisons, which I will go into uh, during the summary, which are up on the screen. Um, but let me just continue here. Um, Okay, perfect for the, Vivex is perfect for the shore areas. So given this uh, sophisticated process and the hard durable product, like I was saying, it's, it's really, really perfect for the shore areas. Um, Vivex products present a huge advantage for shore properties that are sun drenched and are near salt water. Salt water. If you live near the shore, you know, the elements can be a huge problem. Um, UV-resistant and non-corrosive Vivex material is impervious to salt, water, and ox oxidation, which makes it perfect for shore areas or any dwelling near the water, for that matter. Um, our next slide. Uh, this is just our, uh, an example of our, our Bastille collection. Um, and you can really see the, the detail and the quality that went into this product. Um, you can see the outcome of the, the, uh, the injection under pressure into the quality steel molds, um, the rich, you know, the, the, the rich three-step finishing and painting process, and the, uh, the care that went into an item like this. I, I really love this, this collection. I think it's really, really beautiful. Um, just to give you an example of our, our, our selection, we have over 175 products. Uh, 25 families, uh, which in some cases include up to 14 products per family in every imaginable category, which include, include pole and post, wall lantern, hanging lantern, and ceiling mount. Um, this next slide is our, some of our finishes. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, we offer uh, 15 rich finishes to choose from, which are a result of the heavy-duty construction, um, like I was saying before, the three-step finishing process, and just the hard, durable nature of the material. Now, all the all the finishes all have the same warranty. Uh, there's no uh, 
no difference between which finish is used and, and any of the quality of the, uh, of the piece of the durability? Correct. Correct. Okay. Uh, all the Vivex products uh, have a three-year warranty. Uh, despite any finish uh, or, or collection, it's all all under the three-year warranty, which is right. uh, above and beyond uh, most of our competitors, which is a one-year limited warranty. Mm -hmm. um, so as you can see, uh, our, these are our, our 15, uh, our example of some of our finishes, but we have uh, 15 finishes to choose from. Um, are, are, uh, for, those, for those that want products that are, are, are good for the environment and energy efficient, we have four beautiful collections that are, are, are biodegradable. Um, these collections are, are Title 24 compliant. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's, it's a high efficacy and fluorescent standard for new homes and remodels. Um, they use, utilize a 2700 Kelvin long life G24 fluorescent. Uh, which is a uh, 10,000 hour plus lamp. Um, like I said, the material is biodegradable. So in a nutshell, it reduces energy consumption, uh, is better for the environment, and saves money without sacrificing style. It, it, it really is a win-win-win, and um, like I said, offer in those four beautiful collections. Um, these are just some application shots. Um, here, you know, some of the products uh, in all of their glory in real life settings. You can you can see the the heavy duty construction and quality look. Um, this is our our carriage house collection, which is extremely popular with uh, with Maxim um, in its in a wall light and uh, and post light, uh, really beautiful. And then the next is a couple more application shots. That's our, our Santa Barbara collection and our, our wall light for our Beacon Hill collection. And you can just, if you look at it, it just is a very heavy duty looking quality product. Um, it's, it's really, really incredible. So just as a, a quick recap, I feel like we went through this kind of fast. Um, uh, Vivex is a new revolution, uh, standard and outdoor lighting. It really is beauty that lasts. Um, the innovative materials and, and process allows for intricate molding and strength that's unmatched. It's twice as strong as resin. Um, uh, like I was trying to emphasize, the material is injected under pressure into heavy steel molds. Um, it's UV resistant and non-corrosive and excellent. Really, really perfect for areas near the water. Um, our price points are, are fantastic, uh, ranging from uh, you know uh, about 25 to 50. Per, there's a 25 to 50 percent savings to to comparable products. Um, we have an incredible design offering and selection with over 175 fixtures, 25 families with up to 15 finishes to choose from. We offer energy efficient, environmentally friendly products that are offered in four energy savings collections that are Title 24 compliant. And uh, all products come with a three year warranty. Um, so that was every, is kind of everything in a nutshell. I kind of feel, Eric, we went through that kind of briefly. Um, are there any questions or, or comments? I, there was a couple, but we addressed them during the during the course of the event. Um, you know, it, it is it is a, a specific niche product uh, that you guys have have done a, a phenomenal job of creating. Uh, we've been selling Vivex for what, about uh, I think it's it's been out about a year. Is that is that, is that uh, right? Correct. And, that's correct. And and it's it's just been a, a home run in our showrooms. People love the versatility of the design and the durability that you guys are providing, especially down here in South Florida, where we do have a exactly. lot of homes on the water. And exactly. And, uh, and 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 you know your your company that stands behind this product, we're happy to sell it. And uh, I, I appreciate you, you educating us all today a bit on on the product. And if you have any questions, you can absolutely reach out to reach out to me. You all have my email address. You would have seen that as a, a confirmation on the, on the webinar. Um, I will uh, be sending out a follow-up email to all those who registered for the webinar uh, with, a, with a, a copy of the, the uh, presentation if there was something that you wanted to go over again. But um, 
just just from Capital Lighting and 1-800-Lighting.com and, and from Maxim Lighting and Neil Caraccio, uh, I, I thank you for attending today. And uh, keep your eye out for our next webinar, which uh, is, is coming up soon. Appreciate you being with us. Have a great, great. month of June, everybody. Thank you very much, Neil. All right. Thanks, Eric. Enjoy. Take care, thank you.